In this lesson, I'm going to give you a guided tour of the document window, which is where all the main action takes place in Dreamweaver. I'm using the Windows version, but it doesn't matter which operating system you're using. 99% of the time, the Mac and Windows versions of Dreamweaver are identical. There's a separate lesson for Mac users explaining the main differences, but you can assume that everything I show you in the Windows version works the same on a Mac, unless I draw your attention to it. I'm in the DWCC Exercises site that I created earlier. Let's begin by creating a blank HTML page by clicking HTML in the Create New section of the Welcome screen. This opens a blank HTML document which fills the document window, in other words the whole area apart from the panels at the bottom and on the side. At the top left is a tab which at the moment says Untitled followed by a number. This is where the file name is displayed once you save the file. Directly beneath that tab is what's known as the Document Toolbar. To give you a better idea of how the Document Toolbar works, I'm going to open an existing page. So in the Files panel, I'll expand the Demo folder and double-click index.html. To open the page, you can see that the file name is there in the tab, and between the tab and the document toolbar, there's another toolbar, which is called the Related Files toolbar. This appears whenever you've got any external files attached to a page. In this case, there's just one, highway.css, which is the style sheet for this page. I'll explain the Related Files toolbar in a bit more detail later, but let's first concentrate on the document toolbar. At the moment, the Design button is selected. That means that we're in Design View. You can edit your page in Design View, and it gives you a rough visual indication of what the page will look like. But it's got visual aids in there, showing you where various elements of the page are. You can see these dotted lines here, and there are more dotted lines around the images at this part of the page here. To see what the page will look like in a browser, click the Live button, which is next to the Design button and this renders the page in a version of the WebKit browser engine. WebKit also powers Chrome, Safari and most mobile browsers and it's used in Opera 15 and later so it gives you a very good representation of what your page will actually look like in a browser without having to leave Dreamweaver. Although Design View and Live View help you create the layout of your page it's very important to understand the underlying code. So if you click the Code button that reveals the underlying HTML. But visualizing the final result purely looking at the code isn't easy, so that's where Split View comes in. If you click the Split button, it splits the screen between the code and, in this case, Live View, or if you turn Live View off, Design View. You can adjust how much code you want to see by dragging this central bar here to the left or to the right. And this is where the Related Files toolbar comes in helpful, because if I now click highway.css, I can see the style sheet on one side, while on the other side, I've still got my design. And I can turn on Live View and see what it looks like. I can even make changes to my style sheet here, refresh Live View, and see the effect that is made by those changes. By default, the page is split vertically, but if you prefer it to be split horizontally, go to the View menu, and click Split Vertically. This toggles it on and off between vertical and horizontal. So if I click that, we've now got a horizontal split. If I go back to that View menu, click Split Vertically again, I go back to the default vertical split. Now let's click Source Code to go back to the underlying HTML. And on line 16 here, you can see the flashing cursor. That indicates where the insertion point is. It's inside this H1 element here, and down at the bottom of the document window is what's known as the tag selector. And this shows that we are inside the H1 tag, and this shows you where you are in the hierarchy of the page. So that H1 tag is inside a header element with the ID header, which in turn is inside a div with the ID wrapper, and in turn that's inside the body and you can select the whole element and its contents by clicking one of these elements down here. 
Selecting an entire tag like this with all its contents makes it easier to copy and paste it to a different part of the page or to a different page. But the real value of the tag selector is to show you where you are in the HTML hierarchy because this is extremely important when it comes to styling a web page. And at the bottom right of the document window are three icons and a pop-up menu which allow you to adjust the window size in the main part of the, the document window. We'll come back to these in later lessons. So that's a quick look at how the document window works. In this lesson you've seen how it opens files in tabs and lists related files in the Related Files toolbar. Design View gives you a rough idea of your layout, whereas Live View renders it in the WebKit browser engine. Code View and Split View let you see and work in the underlying markup.